What's up, YouTube? Do I share Plants and Civilization Revolution on the Xbox 360? Um, I was thinking about uh, playing some scenario. If you guys have actually downloaded this for the Xbox 360 for gold, games free for gold. Sorry about that. Um, you should check out some of these map packs. The map pack is uh, the Brave New World. Um, the one that I'll be playing is uh, Choke Point. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, I'll do it on Warlord. I'm not going to stress myself out too much. Just wanted to play, have some fun. Let's see. Um. Ah, let's go with the Americans. Uh, I like the Americans because the uh, 2% interest on gold. The rush unit, pretty much in the very beginning, you know, you gotta, gotta get to it first, but. Other than that, the great person in the beginning, you can get a scientist. Awesome start on technology. My liege, we stand like anything else in this, uh, in this game here, kind of relies on some skill, a little bit of luck. And look at that, it looks like I'm actually starting off on the check point. Sorry about that. Choke point. And, um... Let's see. Um, you know, if you never played this game, you, you kind of really gotta gotta look at location, location, location. Uh, you got these hills right here that'll give you some good protection. These, these trees over here, good protection, and then all this farmland. But um. I don't know if I really want to be right there. Ah, fuck it. I'll, I'll go with it. I'll see how it goes. But if you've never played this map... Bravo. Ah, you know what I see? I didn't get the great scientist. I got the great artist. Um, if you never played this map, it's basically a pretty much just a land-based map. It's uh, got this little choke point, which is the only best way I can think of it, right here. And basically, whoever got their city right there, it control on whoever gets to cross past that. It kind of sets you up for a lot of um, attack because some on on a harder. On the harder difficulty, not so much with Warlord, but definitely with that the, the deity that they they will definitely attack you just to get by you. And it's just some. I'll go with Alphabet. You know, I, I like getting a lot of the uh, science out of the way. Be the most technological advanced one out there is kind of important to me. Um, let's go, let's go explore. See what's out there. Um, you know that you will find out eventually. I do tend to play more of a defense strategy. Um, I don't really try to play necessarily for this win or that win. It's just it, it, it kind of gets a little. A little difficult. Um, oh. Domination is obviously probably one of the easier ones in some cases, not all cases, but it is pretty easy to be winning on domination. But sometimes I get a tech win, other times I get economic wins. Most of the time I just try to harass the people around me, just have a good time, you know. It looks like I'm, uh... Oh, I just got that, that was cool. Ha! It's that dang, I'm already getting gold somehow. Man, it's that deep barbarian. You can't get any like, splendors of war. Um... 
Now the great thing about American Civilization in this game is that you do get a lot of gold just by um, walking around with your warriors or attacking um, the barbarians and stuff like that. But and and then other civilizations that's, that money will go quick, but with the American Civilization. You, you can kind of pace yourself and you make the money at the same exact time without having to sacrifice any of the uh, science skill though. Like I said in the beginning, science is kind of important to me in this game because you get benefits on researching new text, being the first person to research the new text, and you just have the benefit of having stronger uh, players, warriors, I should say going into battle for you, so. Take 40 pieces of gold. And there's another barbarian village. Let me get that fucking guy out of the way. See, with only 40 pieces of gold, I'm already making gold every single turn. much out of your city. You know, I try to build my city up quickly so it's producing as much as I could, can. Um, and uh, I know a lot of people like to actually build a lot of uh, a lot of settlers are off the bat, but you know, to me it's just not really there for me. I, I, I'd rather just get the free ones that I can and then conquer the cities. Mm -hmm. What do I think I want? Let's go with Bronze Wars and get ourselves some archers. The one thing I kind of don't like about what the computer does is they spam the whole world with settlers and they just they just take up all the, the their cities are fighting for resources constantly. Me, yeah, I like to sit my settlers out a little bit and you know when you, once you get further in and start building out your workshops and stuff like that. You, to me, I just don't want my cities to be fighting over. A, a, some resources. I'd rather use all the resources on the land. And uh, I found that a lot of my successful cities are actually doing that, just using all the resources around them and not just fighting over different kinds of resources like this right here. I have a river, so I'm pretty much covered from this side over here. They'd have to come over here. In order to attack my city, I'm on a hill. I get more uh, defensive points. But I got also all this food. I got, you know, my production. Once I get my workshop, I got fields, which will come in real handy once I get iron mines and stuff like that. And most important part, it's not going to be sitting there trying to fight with this city right here. Even 
even after um, I, I, I get a workshop, there's no one's there fighting each other for that. Um, let's see what kind of bonus. Um, yeah, I'll keep up with that. Um, no, I'll go with the uh, library. I'll wait until after this warrior is completely built, and then I'll change the library. Being the first one to, to discover new technology really helps you out once you got a few signals behind you. Then yeah, I got myself another seven. Then I need to waste time building another seven. Um, now what to do with them? <laughs>
Gut, gut. Geht. Let's go up here and explore a little bit. See what kind of trouble I can get into. Maybe one of them would be lucky to hand over a galley. That'd be really nice. Our game is technology, whatever. Very close to boat. Do this before I forget it. I've done that plenty of times. Mm. Uh, let's go with horseback riding right now, just so I can get that out of the way. Ah, look at that. I am smoking through phones. Getting kind of lucky though, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Start on an archer over here. Make sure the uh, city doesn't get too easily taken over. Let's see if I can't find anything else. Anything else that's worthwhile. Down here and try to slack the shit out of these barbarians. Maybe they'll give me some technology too. Mm. around here, huh? I'm not finding any kind of barbarian huts too much anymore. No villagers. Heck, I'm not even finding any other civilizations. It's kind of slow for me. I'm actually kind of thinking about buying this library. I think I might do it. Over here. Mm. I'm not too worried about that city right now. And yeah, Warlord, you don't really have to worry about being attacked by the other civilization. They kind of let you do your own thing until they get up and ready. And if you start doing stuff, they don't like it. Then they might think about attacking you. Like I said, I'm just trying to do a little, little fun time, record it, let you guys see what kind of fun I'm having today. Um, I'll go ahead and heal him right now, just because he's not doing anything. Switch this up to Archer. Like I said, I'm a big, big defender. Not too much of an aggressive type person when, when I haven't really gotten anywhere in the beginning. It's just my kind of strategy, you know. Take it easy. Relax, have fun. Some people get in here and they just build up the crap ton of warriors and go in and try to attack and some people have um, already discovered uh, archery and just it's just too many warriors that you need to actually take out one archer at this low level I mean it's just 
to me, waste of time, waste of building, effort, it's just, I'll wait, I'll wait until I actually have the capabilities of destroying your defensive units. been disappointed by any of them. The horseman is kind of weak in my opinion. Some people like the horseman. I'm not a big get up and love you for that, but I got myself seven. The Mongols are right there, huh? Let's see if I can. smart about this. Either way, I won't be able to have that hill and the water. Oops. I'll throw them right here. I don't think I'll be able to hit that forest either. That's another big thing for me too, that my cities kind of have to try, I, I, I try to make my city self-sufficient. So I'm just pumping money in there to build everything, it's just a waste of time almost. Back in the hundos. Get on with some masonry. I like having me some walls. Got more gold, huh? That would be a, a difficult one to get to first. Mainly because I don't like going out on the sea in this game either. <laughs> I'm a big land person. I ain't got my sea legs in this game. Just because it takes too dang long. I ain't afraid to, but if I ain't got to, I ain't going on the sea in this game. Uda Pre. Follow the follow.
I'll go this way. There's got to be a civilization over there. Mongols can't be the only one in that area. This is actually kind of slow for I mean, how how long it's taken for me to get to this point in research and wise. I've been getting lucky on getting a lot of them to free by the villagers and barbarians, but I usually have a couple of libraries up by now. Shove this guy up here in the city. I'm kind of running out of use for the warriors. Um, oh, oh, uh, these voices are funny. They kind of remind me of the Sims a little bit, but not as annoying. Looks like I'm getting currency too. Hip yeah. Sorry, it's been a while. I, I really don't remember the all the benefits of getting those uh, things. Sorry, I forgot what they're called. Let's go with the ringer. Probably uh, end up building some more arches over there just because that's going to take a lot of a lot of attack when, once people do start to clear more on me. Like I said, that, that's the only part where they can go back and forth. So if they, if they attack, they say the Mongols go ahead and attack uh, my, my Roman friends over there. They'll declare war on me. One of them will. Just so they can move the armies over. At least I've never seen them actually do sea transportation just to get them. They'd rather just declare war on me and either try to take over that city and then move their forces over. Okay, and build that. I got a little extra money to spend, you know. I'm baller. That's uh try to grow my city right here. Alright, I think uh this is actually a pretty good spot to uh call it a, a video and uh, I'll have the second part to this coming up pretty soon on YouTube. Thanks for watching.